Self-care, I strongly believe, is sunnah. So it's not only luxury. Um, it's not something that we do when we have free time. We make time for self-care. And I, I, I would argue it's a sunnah because every time Rasulullah took over uh, things that he, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thought are too much, he asked him to take care of himself. He said, فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَنْصَبْ If you finish taking care of the community, then take care of yourself. He said, وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُلُونَ He said, we know that what they are, are um, when they disbelieve in you, O oh Muhammad, you feel, feel very stressed out. So I want you to سَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْنَ السَّاجِدِينَ Take care of yourself through tasbih, through istighfar, through sujood, usjood waqtarib. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned it in many uh, ayat in the Quran. And the Rasulullah himself, he said, سَاعَةٌ فَسَاعَةٌ He said, practice self-care. He said, sometimes uh, you, you, you come to me and uh, some of the Sahaba, they said, you know, we went to the house of Rasulullah and we asked about his worship and his wives, they said he fast this much and he sleep this much. And, and so they said, they, they said, this is a, we can do better than that. But they said, he's Rasulullah, he's already forgiven his sins. So we're going to do more so we can be forgiven. One of them, he said, I'm going to fast, never break my fast. One, he said, going to pray all night, never sleep. One of them, he said, I'm going to stay single all of my life so I can become only involved in ibadah. Rasulullah was very angry with them. He said, by Allah, I am uh, fearing Allah more than you. And I atqaakum lillahi wa akhshaakum lahu. He said, but I still, when I go to sleep and I wake up for salah, I fast and I break my fast. And it's a sunnah to get married. So subhanAllah, he gave them the balance between dunya and between akhirah, and between self-care and between taking care of uh, the community. So as community leaders, community members, if you are active in your community, Make sure that, inshallah, you take care of yourself because there is always needs. There is more needs than your resources. And uh, if you don't go to sleep because you worry about people, you're not going to serve people tomorrow because you are sleep deprived. There are people who will continue to need you every day. So do your best. Then go and uh, say, Ya Allah, I forgive everybody for your sake. Please forgive me if I hurt anyone. And go to sleep. Take care of your loved ones. And focus on your small family. If everybody focus only on their small family and clean the mess in front of their house, the whole Muslim house will be very clean.